All right, so today I'm going to show you how to do the back rod method, or how I do the back rod method. So this one's pretty simple. You only need two different things. Um, back rod, depending on the size of the ear, um, you can get different thicknesses. Um, I have a Great Dane, so I'm using a three-quarter back rod. Um, and then you need a cloth tape. So this is Zonus tape. You can get that on Amazon. Um, I think you can get this at your local drugstore as well. This, the back rod, you can also, you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot or even on, uh, on Amazon. So I've already done one and it's gonna look like that. And I'll show you how to do that. So here, what I do is I measure the post in the ear down to the nub. And then I do about an inch more because I'm gonna fold that over and it's gonna give extra support on the base. So I'll show you how I do this. So the sticky side in, I'm gonna fold it over and I'm going to wrap one full time around, sticky side down. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to bring the sticky side out and start wrapping this way. I'm just gonna go up the entire post so the post is sticky and it gives it a little bit of um, rigidity as well to the structure. All right, so there's the post built, and then you're gonna need three pieces of tape, um, long, medium, and short. Um, these will be what hold it in. So I usually just get them prepped ahead of time and place them on the edge of the table. So I do two long, two medium, and two small. And then you're ready for the puppy. All right, so I already put one in. This is Ren. So I pre-cleaned the ear, the ear is fully dry. Um, down in, I clean as well. Um, and then you're gonna take this, this knob part is gonna face forward, and you wanna set it right on top of this nub. Um, I cover it up a little bit sometimes, just if I need more security at the base. Then you're gonna pull that ear up, stretch it along the sticky part of the tape, and hold it. You're gonna take your long piece, put that at the bottom, pull that ear up, and you don't wanna pull tight, but you wanna get it snug. Wrap that all the way around the ear, and you're just gonna squeeze it on to where it has, it holds everything together. Then at the top, you always go from the sticky side toward around the front of the ear because you want this to roll back and pinch like it needs to. Um, then I do the tip. And then I do the middle. So pull that up. Loosely bring that around. And then squeeze everything in. And there you are, posted with the back rod method. There is an alternative where you can actually put the back rod all the way down into the ear for a little bit more stability. Um, I find when they're younger, um, it's more beneficial when they haven't uh, been able to build up the strength of the base of the cartilage just yet. Um, but that's the back rod method.